Today we're going to talk about when to use I and when to use me, specifically with other people's names. Remember when you were a child and you'd say something like, me and Shirley went to the park? Some adult would correct you. They'd say, oh no, no, Shirley and I. And that's right. Unfortunately, that's where the lesson usually ended. And that adult didn't bother to explain when you should use me. Maybe because they didn't know themselves. As a result, many of us grew up thinking there's something wrong with the word me, and that it can never be combined with another name. That's just false. Let's take this one step at a time. We'll start with these sentences, both of which are correct. I ate the cookies. Fred hugged me. That's easy enough, right? Now let's plug in more people. I ate the cookies. Vera and I ate the cookies. Vera, Stanley, and I ate the cookies. Notice we keep using I. Fred hugged me. Fred hugged Bert and me. Fred hugged Bert, Deborah, and me. Notice we keep using me, even as we add more names. Look again at those last two sentences, because that's where a lot of people get tripped up. Some folks would say, Fred hugged Bert and I, or even Fred hugged Bert, Deborah, and myself, because they think the addition of names makes me the wrong choice. But me is still the right choice, no matter how many names we add. Just remember this trick. Take out the other person's name and see how it feels. Here's another sentence. Margaret took a photo of Clarence and me. Now take out Clarence and. That leaves you with, Margaret took a photo of me, which is right. You wouldn't say Margaret took a photo of I, so you wouldn't say Margaret took a photo of Clarence and I. Again, if you remove the other person's name or other people's names, the correct choice should be clear. Thanks.